hello everyone in this session we will discuss the two topics those are related to the state space analysis one is controllability another one is the observability so first what is controllability here controllability means a system said to be controllable system is said to be controllable if it is possible to transfer the initial state to desired state so initially it has some state that initial state to desired state our requirement state in a finite interval in a finite interval by controlling the input by controlling the input understand here here just look at here here we have a one system here we have a one system then system has input it will take some input and the system will give some output it will give some output and it has a some state state variable it has some state variable so for example a initial state it has some x1 x1 of t equal to some a x1 of t equal to some a here this is the system for this system we need to control the system so how it look at here a system is said to be controllable if it is possible to transfer instant state to desired value so for example this is the initial state so next i will consider this state as i required some b value so initially it is at a i will convert into the b value in a finite interval of time by controlling the input so by varying the input we should make we should control we should change the the state variable initially it is at a then it will be converted into the p in a finite interval of time it should be done in a finite interval of time simple it has some state variable we can change the state by varying the input then the system is said to be the controllable so mathematically controllability mathematically given by kalman test generally we have the kalman test so up to now we discussed about these things that is by using the kalman test this is a state differential equation x dot equal ax plus bu and output y equal to cx so here how can we test it is controllable or not the given system for that we should find out some matrix we should find out some matrix that matrix named with the qc that named with the qc that is like this it has a matrix which consisting of the b a b and the a square b and so on a power n minus 1 b so we should make some matrix that matrix elements should consisting of the first column is b second column is multiplication of a and b matrix third column is um, ma matrix a square with multiplied with the b up to a power n minus 1 here n is the order n is order of a n is order of a so after finding that after finding that we should finally get and here the important thing is and finally we should get the qc value modulus of qc modulus of qc value is not equal to 0 it should not be equal to 0 then the system is called then the system is called controllable system then the system is called controllable so whenever it is possible then the system is called the controllable otherwise it is not controllable so after making a this qc matrix we should find out modulation of the qc then it is not equal to 0 then the system is called the controllable simply okay so by using the state equations and output equation we make some this we, we make some matrix that matrix consisting of these elements after the getting that you will find out the modulation of this matrix then it is possible this condition is possible then the system is called controllable system okay next here 
observability so what is observability here same as a system is said to be observable if the system is in order to call it it is a observable system if it is possible to determine the initial state so to find out the initial state of the system by observing the output by observing the output okay so we should find out the initial state how we should find out the initial state by observing the output in a finite interval of time this is also in the finite interval of time then the system is called observable system okay so look at here for example we have a system same system the system consisting of the input that will input is given to the system and it will give some output it has some state variable x of t state variable so what is the condition it, it it has to become the observable here the condition is it should be observable we should call it the system is a observable system when it is called when it is called if it is possible to determine the initial state so if it is possible to find out the initial state this x of t value by observing the output how by observing this output so we should just observing the output we should find out the initial state in a finite interval of time so don't forget the finite interval of time understand a system is said to be observable we have to find out the value of the x of t by observing the output then the system in a finite interval of time then the system is having the observable system then the system is having the observable system what about controllability controllability means we can change the state of the system initially system has a state we can convert into the b state by varying the input so controllability is related to the input what about here 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 observability means here we can get the initial state we should get only initial state by observing the output here by observing the output here here the thing controllability is related to you should write here controllability is related to input of the system input of the system and observability is related to so we we should have the observability that is the output of the system okay yes so here same to understand observability again we should use same kalman state but here x dot equal a x plus b u y equal to c x then we will make the relation is like this here also now we should find q o q o means observability matrix observability matrix that observability matrix is related to the output output means this c matrix so here we can find out the matrix is like this c transpose and a transpose into c transpose this is the second column what about third column a transpose whole square into c transpose and finally we should have the a transpose whole power n minus 1 c transpose whole power n minus 1 c transpose that means observability is related to outputs means we should get c this c is related output of the matrix so we should get this matrix that is the qo observability of the matrix so after finding this q not qo that should be the modulation should be not equal to 0 whenever the modulation is not equal to 0 then the system is called observable system then the system is called the observable system for example if modulation is equals to 0 then the system is called not observable system not observable system okay so this is the observability and non observability look at here observability is related to output is related to output means this is the related to c matrix but c matrix is having the transpose and what about here here controllability is related to input input is the this matrix that's why b a into b 
a square into b here there is no transpose directly we have this matrix but here not observable matrix okay and what about here the rank of you should very important thing here this is the matrix actually the rank of matrix rank of qc matrix should be equal to the rank of a matrix this is also important thing so this controllable matrix rank should be equal to the a matrix rank and next observability rank should be q not rank matrix rank should be equal to the equal to the and rank of rank of a rank of a matrix so then these conditions is possible then these conditions are possible okay this is about theory of the controllability as well as observability okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you